Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about a process through which we can de delete the data from the physical file using CL program. So before we discuss that process, let me show you the file in which we have some data and from that data, we will delete uh, one particular data. Okay, so let me show you the file. So for that, I am hitting the query strsql and inside that we will hit the query to see the data which is select star from EMP PF. So this is the data that we are holding inside the physical file. So basically there are six record employee ID and employee name. So from this six record we will record uh, we will delete that de uh, delete this sixth number of record which is user six. Okay, but this time we will do this with the help of CL program. So for that I am opening this program in edit mode. So here on line number ten. Uh, line number 8 we are writing pgm command this is not mandatory like if you want to uh, receive some parameter in that case only it is mandatory otherwise you can uh, avoid it okay and then we have we have declared one variable uh, which is emp id of numeric and the length of this variable is 4 and we have stored the value as 6 because we want to read the record 6 number of record where employee id is 6 now below to that on line number 16 we are declaring the file so to declare the file you have to simply write tclf then take f4 and inside that you have inside in place of file you have to write your file name in our case we are using ampf so i'm writing this and then we have to pass the library in which this file exists so my library name is shanmit1 rest option will be same so just hit enter so in this way you will be able to write uh, declare the file Okay, so we have declared the variable, we have declared the file, now it's time to hit the query to delete the record. So for that we will use one command which is run SQL. So just simply write run SQL, then take F4 and now inside this SQL field you can write your query in this way. Okay, so I, I will explain your query in on main program like here. So here what we are doing, we are like after SQL, the, like you can also write the query directly from here just simply write run SQL then write SQL and open the parenthesis then inside that you have to use one single quote just write delete from EMPPF query will be same as we hit on DB2 so delete from file name EMPPF if you want to specify a library then you can pass library and slash then where EMP ID equals now I am passing the variable because I want to match the value from my variable. So to pass the variable what we need to do we have to use single triple quote then double pipe. Single triple quote after that you have to write double pipe symbol. Then value. So if the value is numeric we have to convert it to character using percentage care built in function. And then you have to pass your value let's say in this case we are using emp id then again double pipe and then triple single quote so this is the way through which we can pass the variable inside the run sql query in dynamic way if you don't want to pass the value from variable and you want to hard code it in that case you can use just the double single quote and inside that whatever you will write it will be considered as a hard code value for your query let's say if i want to pass six so i will pass in this way okay so both we are uh, easy but i would recommend you to use this one uh, the dynamic one because in this case if you want to change your query then you can directly uh, change the values from your variable there is no risk of changing the query again and again okay so in this way i'm passing the i'm matching where emp id equals to triple single quote this plus came because we are changing the line it automatic if you are taking f4 and writing query here then it will directly come automatically come here otherwise you have to add it okay so mainly there are two way you can take f4 you can write your query here or you can write your query directly here okay so this is my variable start triple single quote then double pipe then percentage care because EMP ID is a numeric value so I'm converting it to character and ampersand is mandatory in throughout the CL program like whenever we are referring any variable we have to name it named it as a like with prefix ampersand then double pipe symbol and then triple quote 
triple single quote okay so this from here to here this is the variable and this quote is for the query end so here we have started this SQL from single quote so we are terminating it with single quote and then we are closing the parenthesis here we need to pass the commit option as star none okay so I'm taking F4 if you are writing query here then you can pass this option here commitment control star none and then we are simply uh, using the SNDPGM MSG command to print the message record deleted and this is end pgm command so let's try to compile this and see whether we are able to delete the record or not so i'm i'm compiling it now i'm calling this program so here we got the message record deleted so let's confirm for that i'm going to hit query so i'm going to hit the command strsql and inside that i will hit the query select star from amppf so here you can see that record number six is deleted now so this is the easiest way to read the record from the physical file using cl program and with the help of run skill command okay so it is quite simple so so far we have discussed about the insertion process update process and delete process so this is how these process uh, we can process these things inside the cell program so that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching text